Hello everyone, in this episode we're going to talk about another film called Destroy All Monsters in 1968. A one hour and 29 minute action adventure released May 23rd, 1969. Storyline, at the end of the 20th century, 1999 to be exact, all of Earth's monsters have been safely rounded up and sent to Monsterland for a scientific study. Chaos erupts when a race of she-aliens known as the Kelox unleashes the monsters on the world. Directed by Ishiro Honda and Jun Kakuda. This film was considered to be the last film of Toho's contribution to the Japanese monster boom of the 50s and 60s. And it was intended to be the last. However... It was successful enough that it was decided to continue the series. Amen, brother. So in this film here, as we talked, as I mentioned, it's all the monsters were all rounded up on this one island. Now, I do have questions that we'll talk about. But when the aliens, Helox, um, took over the creatures... Moscow got destroyed by Rodan, Peking was by Mothra, and London by Manda, and it says Paris by Baragon. But from what I understand, Baragon was not in this movie, it was actually Gorosaurus. That was kind of a little blipper in that movie. So you had all these creatures. And you even had, you know, Son of Godzilla as well in this film. Um, <laughs> it's like Jurassic Park, but in 1969. Does that make sense? So all these monsters on the island, the aliens got interfered. They took over the creatures and they released them all. Godzilla was in New York City, of all places, New York City. Look at that. So, one question that I have is, how did they get Mothra from the island to be in this other island to be controlled all in one area? After all the stories about the fairies and all, that's one question that I don't understand how Mothra was on that island. But anyways... In the 60s, in the Godzilla films, they tried to match other science fiction movies by constantly putting aliens in this. Which, in return, when you hear the word aliens, what other monster is going to show up? Three-headed Ghidra. Exactly. I don't know why I, I can't stand that creature. I just don't like it. But anyways, so... They were all released, as I said. They were all like destroying certain parts of the world. So the idea for the Japan Japanese is to try and get these animals, these dinosaurs, these creatures, monsters, back from the aliens' control to let them go back to where they were supposed to be. And again, you had. It's just weird. It's 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 just. <laughs> So these aliens are all women, right? And when the temperature drops, they turn into these worms and they go into a shell or something. It's really off the wall fucking weird. But it's fun. You gotta admit, it's fun to watch all these creatures. Because we I haven't really seen any movies yet of Manda or even Bargon or even Gorosaurus. So it was cool. And they even threw the spider in here. That's right. The, remember the spider from the movie before? He had a little scene in here. It's a really fun little film from the late 60s. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much I can say. Is You have them all. They all get loose. It's like a uh, Jurassic Park from 1969. Fun little film. Obviously, everything gets under control. The aliens get stopped. The world goes back to somewhat normal. You know what I mean? Considering that they have monsters. Now let's get to that uh, three-headed Ghidorah. Of course, that's an alien. 
So you knew they were going to release the three-headed Ghidorah, uh, three-headed Ghidra, battling all these dinosaurs. And it was cool to see all of them pounce on this thing. It was so cool. I mean, it is what it is. Now, another thing. After three-headed Ghidorah was taken down, literally, they had this last little... Um, they called it the the flame. The, a flame or something was destroying now. But that ended up being a flying saucer. So the astronauts went up in space and shot it down. That's how the movie ended. It's real fun. It's a lot of fun, actually. So definitely check it out. It's well worth a watch. It's well entertaining, I can tell you that. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 7.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed this. You can check it out probably on Tubi TV or Plex or any other format that shows movies. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.